Hi right, guys, we're off the mark now. Wrexham have made their first signing of the summer window, and that's of Will Boyle from Huddersfield Town. So he signed on a three-year deal. Obviously, we were looking for a left-sided centre-back, and obviously he's left-footed, obviously undisclosed fee. But of course, he had one year left on his contract with Huddersfield. I don't think it would have been that big of a expense for Wrexham really because he didn't really play too much under Neil Warnock when he came in at Huddersfield and he was only signed as backup really for for Huddersfield. I doubt there'd be any exorbitant fee involved in the transfer. Most likely a smallish fee to take him across from Huddersfield. One noticeable thing about him of course is that he won League Two with Ben Tozer back in in back in twenty twenty. So he's he's very experienced that at this level. He's mentioned in his interviews, played with a couple of players like McFadden as well, and he's obviously played against the likes of Paul Mullen, so he's quite familiar at this level. This new signing, our, our centre back options are fantastic now, and it's a good thing we play with five at the back. I don't envy Phil Parkinson have to decide who he's gonna play at add that back three. I mean, who would you pick out of the back three at the moment? I mean, Toes is probably the, the definite one in the centre, then it's left side you go for Tunnicliffe or to go for Boyle difficult difficult one to choose maybe I'll go for Boyle because he's played with toes before and then right O'Connor sorry O'Connor or or, or Hayden again I f it might you might edge towards Hayden just for his ability to score in the box from the set pieces but Will Boyle is going to be you know, pretty similar I just think that's going to be quite a devastating combination they're two very tall centre backs and there's lots of competitions the Rex are involved in, and there probably will be plenty of rotation. And that's not even mentioning the likes of Clueworth, who is also going to try and push for a regular start, or at least make a fair few appearances. You have six very good centre-backs. It's be very strong defence, hopefully a strong defence anyway, because we know how the team did slip up a little bit in a few games last year. We looked defensively a, bit, a little bit poor, but... Hopefully that you know that doesn't happen this year. I'm, I'm sure that Parkinson will be looking at you know, more players because we do know he's looking at a left wing back, another centre mid, and a striker. So let's wait to see what happens with that one. So obviously a little bit of background and Will Boyle start his career with Huddersfield Town, but then he's obviously then moved on to a few different clubs. Had loan spells. The clubs the likes of Kidderminster, Macclesfield, York, and Kilmarnock. But as I mentioned previously. He spent several years playing for Cheltenham Town, where of course he would win the league alongside playing alongside Ben Tozer in the 2020-21 season and was named in the 2020-2021 EFL Team of the Season. And obviously that was Paul Mullen was also in that Team of the Season and Jordan Tuncliffe was also named in that Team of the Season. So now we've got three players who you know, were in that Team of the Season for 2021. I don't know if we're going to get any of the other players. It's probably not <laughs> too likely. So yeah, so he spent f five years at Cheltenham. And then he moved across to Huddersfield. Like I said, he was only backup really. And you know, he didn't play too often. He's only made you know, less than 20 appearances. And you knew he was only backup. But he thought he you know, had his potential to play in the championship for Huddersfield. Not, not worked out for him due to injury and obviously changing manager. But he can, he's certainly very experienced at a League 2 level and should be a very good addition for the team. And yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing who else Wrexham can will be signed in the next well, few weeks. And I doubt there'll be another one before the, we go away. It's probably unlikely. I mean, it's obviously still potential, but we'll have to wait and see. Of course, you know, it'd be great if, if you're still listening to this. If you could please subscribe to the channel. It'd be greatly appreciated. But chat to you soon. Thanks. Bye -bye.